in the spring, cutthroat trout spawn. If they're in a the lake, they run up the, the tributary streams, and the inlets are a good place to fish. It doesn't necessarily have to be a spawning stream. It could be an inlet uh, where irrigation water comes in. In this case, that's what it is, but they, they're, they're, those big cutthroats are attracted to the, to the area, the inflow. Fish are a lot bigger in the, in the lakes. There's more food. This is a, this is a big cutthroat. It's probably 23 inches, 22, 23 inches long. Now this, this lake has a lot of big ones in it. I'm not the only person interested in this spot, and I'm not the only creature either. These pelicans are waiting for these big cutthroats to come down this inflow. The big trout, they work their way up, but sometimes they, 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 they have a difficulty and they drift back down. So these pelicans are waiting. I'll bet they eat a lot of them. You wouldn't think that they could see the see the fish coming down, but they they, they do. They really go get them. These birds come here from uh, quite a distance away. You know, this is a high mountain lake, the big high mountain reservoir, and uh, they don't live here. They fly in from, you know, maybe 50, 60 miles away. It's uh, but they know where the they know where the good good feeding is. Jockey for position on that on that uh, concrete wing wall. Well, I I better get see if I can catch another fish, and uh, let the pelicans do whatever they do. Got another one here. This is this one is about 18 or 19 inches long. Not as big as the other one. Caught several this day. And, Releasing. Look, there's some excitement going on. Yeah, they're fighting over it. They, hope we as fishermen don't fight over the fish like the pelicans do. <laughs> this is a, this is a, quite an uproar out there. Someone got it though. They're big fish. It's amazing how what how big of a fish they can swallow. Well, they're gonna they're gonna go back and get another one. 